For those of you who watched me make this cement hammer where I've made a mold of a five pound sledgehammer and then casted a cement hammer which is two pounds, I now have made, out of the same mold, a urethane foam hammer that's 1.2 ounces, still packs a punch but you can hit somebody with it and not hurt them and uh, I'm going to show you how I made it. Get ready. Notice my mold ripped. I had it open so far that it just split. Even if this split in half, I could still do the same thing, casting both halves, putting them together, they'd bond. But I'm on my fourth coat now. And uh, just making sure that it's nicely coated with a release agent for ultimum release. see how that paint is not wanting to sit uniformly on the black where the oil-based or the enamel oil-based paint doesn't seem to have a problem at all it's not coagulating like that but the acrylic obviously or the latex is but this is going to dry and then I'll coat it again I'm going to coat the gray or the silver and I'll coat the black again in order to get it to be full of color this is a treatment in reverse. We know we can stick the rubber or foam to paint, but we cannot stick paint to foam or rubber. So that's why we're doing it this way. Okay, I just put a second coat of paint and you can see now that it's staying. And then I got the silver again and I did the black, but you can see now it's not coagulating away from the surface. It's staying whole. So one more coat, I'll have three coats on it totally. Okay, well, I've got my second coat on. Yesterday I did uh, the first coat and then I did the second coat. And there's still a little bit of what I would call areas there that are not exactly uh, perfect. You can still see some of the yellow of this rubber in there. So I'm going to paint that one more time. All right, I was getting ready. I made a little form here to kind of squeeze the two pieces together to lock it in so I could pour it with rubber and when I made the thing the form uh, I took it apart just to you know get ready for the pour and uh, I noticed that this had come loose from here so it just because of the release and then the fact that I squeezed it with this plywood I put this plywood across right here and squeezed it down and that little bit of squeeze demolded this. If you notice this, let's see if I can. This is coming out completely, almost in one piece. The other one came out part in a couple of pieces, but it's obviously released. It didn't stick. Whereas the acrylic is not doing that. It's been bent and it's still configured to the uh, shape and there's no cracks or delamination. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna paint these two areas with the black and I can stick enamel to paint. So after I'm done, with, you know, I'll put the black in, we'll pour the rubber. And then from there, uh, we're going to paint the black on the silver area here, the actual metal hammer. Uh, we're going to paint that black after we're done. So I'll be back with you. All right, so we got the paint dried on both halves of this. And I've used the black, like I said. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use great foam to make the hammer itself. I'm going to put some of this in first and paint brush it in. What I've done is I've cut a regular one inch brush down to where it, this is kind of too soft. Uh, it's too long. So by cutting it, you can actually get this to work more with a stiffness. And we're going to put just a little bit in and then brush it in to where it sticks real well. And then I'll put foam in there. So right now. Okay, 
Okay, so we got both halves paint brushed in. And this is just going to make it bond better. That's all it's going to do to the actual paint. If you just sprayed it in, you might not get as good a bond. And I'm just going to put just a little bit more in these corners because that'll be harder to fill. Okay. The moment of truth. I always hate uh, when you're trying something you've never done before, and especially live on the camera, that it would actually come out right. Ooh, baby, please, please, please. Well, that one came off pretty good so far. We've got a good, a good image. It, uh, it feels soft, which is what it's supposed to feel like, but now the issue is it's trying not to break it. I didn't put any reinforcement in the handle, which I normally do, so I'm kind of worried about that breaking. See if I can't. It's got a little slag, just like my other hammer does, but I figured that would. All right, looks like it's almost out. Not terribly bad. All right. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, it's feather light. I mean, it is feather light. It can't even weigh a, a half a pound. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to grind or cut this, do a little sanding, and then from there, I mean, even, even the top has a little bit of slag on it, but that can come off, and this can be painted. It actually has a little tone of the silver, and the handle's black, but that's, <laughs> I can hit you in the head with that, and it's not going to hurt you a bit. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cut that, and then uh, touch it up with some paint, and I'll be back at you. All right, just did a little, I cut the, with a razor knife, I just literally, oop, wrong thing, I just literally cut that slag off, and then I've lightly sanded it all the way around. There's a parting line, which I don't want. And that's why I'm sanding it, to get that to be smooth. And I put enough thick paint coats on here that it's sandable. And even after, right now I'm going to paint this, and if I still see that line, I'll just sand that paint just a little bit and then paint it again. But that is 
it is unbelievable. Now, I haven't ground this off yet, which I'm getting ready to do, but I love my little hammer. I'm going to weigh this and find out what it weighs. It's got to be a fraction of a pound. Okay, I was going to do a weight test on the three hammers. This is the original, the cement hammer, and the foam. So we'll start out with the, let's see if I can get that a little closer. So we'll start out with the metal hammer. And we've got 14, I'm sorry, 4 pounds, 15.4 ounces. Almost 5 pounds, as I said before. The cement hammer coming in at, well, one pound, 14.6 ounces. The last hammer I did, I think, was two point something. So this one's a little two pounds. This one's one pound, almost two pounds. And then the foam one, which I don't even think is going to register. Oh, point one ounce, point one point two ounces. That's amazing how lightweight that little hammer is. Paint. Okay, so I got my foam hammer all finished. And uh, you can't tell where there's any parting lines. If you look and see, remember how we had it on the, on the edge here and the underside? It's all nice and smooth now. No parting line on the hammer itself, the handle. But that's a nice little foam hammer. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like my videos, please uh, like and subscribe and share them. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.